Hey everyone, if you are new to Autodesk Revit, let's explore the user interface and become familiar with how to navigate the software. Let's start on the home screen in Revit. When you start Revit, the home screen will display any recent projects you have been working on. On the left side of the screen, you will see models and families. Models are used for files like the building, where families are for smaller components like furniture that go inside of the building. Let's open the file you downloaded called Last Name Tiny Home Design. Under Models, select Open. Navigate to where the file was downloaded, select it, and select Open. You have now opened the Tiny Home Design project file. Before looking at the interface, let's explore some of the features I use in my videos to help with learning the software. The first and most notable feature will be the mouse cursor. My cursor will have a blue glow around it, hopefully to make it easier to find on the screen as you use my videos. The second feature will be the use of left versus right click functionality. In CAD programs, there are several useful commands and menus that are accessed using left click and right click options. In my videos, if I left click on the screen, you will see blue rings that occur slightly before the action is performed. I'll demonstrate by selecting one of the commands on the screen. If I right click on the screen, you will see a red target symbol that appears slightly before the action is performed. I'll demonstrate by right clicking to see a shortcut menu appear. I always remember that red and right click start with the letter R, and that helps me to know the difference. To see this menu disappear, you will see a left click being performed in the graphics area. As you work through the videos, you will see these effects, and I just want to explain what they are and hopefully make the actions you can't see a bit clearer. Let's start with the file menu. The file menu houses all the common options for creating new files, opening existing files, saving, and printing. One feature I will show that you can change is under the Options menu. There aren't a lot of changes I would make here, but if we select Colors, you can change the active UI theme to Light or Dark Mode if desired. For example, I am using a Dark UI Active theme, but the Canvas color scheme is set to Light. The Canvas is the white portion of the screen where you will view the model. You can also toggle the canvas setting by selecting the view tab and selecting canvas theme on the ribbon. Next, let's take a look at the quick access toolbar. You will find the save, undo, and redo buttons as well as commonly used Revit commands. Moving to the ribbon area, we have tabs at the top of the ribbon. Architecture, structure, insert, annotate, view, and manage, just to name a few. The ribbon holds and displays various commands. The commands are organized by panels, such as build, circulation, model, opening, and datum, just to name a few. We have the properties palette which contains the settings for the project. The properties palette is also heavily used to change the properties of various building elements. We have the project browser, which organizes the various views and drawings for the project. We navigate between the various views by using the project browser. Most of the views will be displayed in 2D, but we can access the 3D view by using the project browser or by using the command in the quick access toolbar. The view cube also allows you to rotate and view the model from any angle. Different settings and view changes can also be established using the view cube. The last item I will cover will be navigation shortcuts. Many people who are new to Revit ask me how I move around the screen so fast, and this is how I do it. To zoom in and out, just simply roll the wheel on the mouse. Keep in mind, the zoom occurs wherever your mouse cursor is located. To pan, hold down the scroll wheel of the mouse and move your mouse around to pan around the screen. To orbit, hold down the shift key 
and hold down the scroll wheel on the mouse and move the mouse around to rotate the model. You can always return to home by moving your cursor by the view cube and clicking on the house icon to return to the home position. I use the view cube a lot to rotate as well, but this is just a personal preference, so feel free to learn your own style. This wraps up the Autodesk Revit user interface, and I hope you feel a little more comfortable as you start using these features in the future. Thank you.